folks, we are reviewing Power Wash Simulator. You're going to be seeing about five minutes of gameplay with some reactions. And then after the gameplay, and there's been enough there for you to sort of gauge yourself how you feel about it, I'm going to end the video with about five minutes of chatting and review. Um, so we'll see you in about five minutes. Fire up your power washer and blast away every speck of dirt and grime. Build your business in career mode and complete a variety of dirty jobs across a dusty town in Muckingham. Relaxation, satisfaction, guaranteed. I actually watch people do that ASMR like cleaning stuff. So I'm hoping this has some satisfaction. Price of the game it is on Steam for... So 16 quid, $20, it's early access. Discord, they've got a Twitter. Uh, free play, revisit your favorite jobs and spend as much time cleaning as you want. So once you've unlocked them, you can re-clean. Specials, clean the Mars Rover. Got a career mode, uh, options, shadow resolution, anti-aliasing. So there's only like, it's not really giving you crazy options for graphics it's not giving you like multiple types of aa <clears throat> it's not giving you different types of shadows you know it's not explaining really what this has an effect on in game but you know there are some settings there non-diegetic volume i like the use of that as a as a media studies guy non-diegetic volume is great non-diegetic is something that doesn't belong in the scene show the dirt crouch pick up okay Looks like it actually does have controller support. The game is a 1.5 gig. Oh, look. So it looks like as you progress through the campaign, we're going to be upgrading to that Prime Vista 3000 with that strong surface. We've got different kinds of cleaning fluids. Uh, let's, let's go in and let's just see what the game's got to offer us. Maybe it would be kind of nice if you could pick your guy's name. So you're, you're the guy doing the job. Oh, can you hear those snaps? I'm maxed out graphics here. And I'll be honest with you. Okay. Things look sharp. But I'm seeing a lot of jagged lines. Let me just crouch down here. That's real clean. <clears throat> Press tab, it shows all the areas of dirt remaining. Just get that little, call that the air, uh, call that the 45 degree angular spray technique, little 360. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie, oddly satisfying. I feel he probably should be doing this outside on his drive rather than in his garage with all this water. In it being super realistic here, right? As a simulator game, as a simulation game, there probably should be some water on the floor. Oof, this is gonna be good. That's the ticket. All right, let's. What's what's the company called? Wait, I'm. This is a power wash services van. Could they not have washed it themselves? Can you clean at max range? I think it's going to depend on the amount of pressure. Like you see here, if I back myself up here. If I, if I line myself up like a CSGO smoke, see there? But if I go for the stronger nozzle... Oh, look at this. Oh, there we go. This is a world-class job. Oh, I don't like the way it did that. Oh, I don't like the way it did that. You see what it did there? It just automatically took the dirt off me. Oh, that made me jump. <laughs> okay, that's 
That's overly loud. Oh, is wait, it does a time lapse? Okay, that's cool. All right, that's that's actually cool. This is a nightmare job. I'm gonna have to do the old uh, WASD strafe. Com you can purchase mid job. That's good. Right, let's put the extension on. Oh yeah, that's it. Great call. Yes. Oh my, we've escaped. All right, so we've now had four and a half hours playtime. I've completed the dinosaur playground, the house, the bike, the um, van, the van scenario, and I did a bit of the Mars Rover. So we've had quite a lot of time to play with the game, and I'll give you some thoughts. The strongest aspect of this game is the sound. I'm going to link a clip from the developer um, that's talking about how he created the sound. Um, he basically goes to a real life location and captures the audio and mixes it all and I found the audio to be the best aspect of the game. It really got you immersed in the scene and that's important because if you don't feel like you're jet washing outside with outside audio then the game just doesn't work does it? So props to the sound designer there, I thought it was really good. Hello, my name's Alistair Brimble and I'm the sound designer for Power Simulator. So I had to find a location that would be perfect to record those sounds. It turns out where I live is absolutely perfect. So here we are just up the lane from the suburban sort of areas. We've got this lovely scenery, quite inspiring actually for recording audio. So the first thing I did was set about recording the traffic noises, which are completely different in every direction here, which is exactly what we need to get the variation in the game. Um, secondly, I thought the scenarios were decent, realistic, you know, cleaning a playground, someone's house, a van, there was nothing too uh, wild. And there were some fun ones like the Mars Rover, right? Um, and obviously I guess as the game grows and expands, there's gonna be more fun um, things to clean. Now, one thing I'm gonna say is, I think the thing that did turn me off the game towards the last two and a half hours of play was because the scenarios they were giving me were too big. So to earn enough money to upgrade your things, you need to make about 1,500. I'd done two massive scenarios that took one to two hours each and I still hadn't made enough. What I would have liked to have seen is a lot more smaller scenarios put at you at the beginning, vans, cars, these type of things, and more technical washing. The most fun thing in the game was switching between liquids to the big nozzle, um, switching nozzles to be like the hard pressure or the big spray. And I found that most of the scenarios just worked with a big spray. And I never really felt the need to switch to nozzles other than I just wanted to. I just got a bit bored after about two hours because I was doing the same thing over and over again. And I would have preferred more technical things to power wash, um, such as different shapes where you had to outline with a harder nozzle. Just a bit more technical that kept me more engaged. It just very quickly became spray this huge area and then scour for this tiny piece of dirt that you must have just missed for it to tick over, for it to count as being completed. I found that the liquids and the nozzles weren't that useful. Um, basically, if you select, say, a wood cleaner, metal cleaner, and you switch between the hoses, um, you can get a big hose that sprays everywhere, and it sprays this floor cleaner, and it does clean the area a lot quicker, but it melts away so fast, and it costs $10 per liquid, that basically, if you were going to do the whole thing quickly, or a bit more uh, quicker, you're going to use all of your money and budget up on fluids then you feel like you're not playing the game properly because you're like, well, I should be using the liquid. Instead, I'm just going to stick with a smaller nozzle. It's going to take a lot longer. And that kind of grated on me. The game is all about satisfaction, right? It's all about satisfaction. And when you're filling out the outline and then you're just about to finish the job and it auto fills it in for you, it really does take a big portion of that satisfaction away. 
However, on the flip side, I can see why it's included because the scenarios you're cleaning are so big that if it didn't automatically finish off that last 1%, you'd be there for the rest of your life trying to find each piece of dirt. So I would like to see them adjust when it fills in. On the bigger fence panels, I think you should have to fully clean it. But maybe if you're doing an enormous floor and you've missed a tiny few specks of dirt, then it could automatically fill it in. Or they could just enable the option autofill on or off. Something like that. So I'm not going to be too harsh on it because it's early access. And I can see the concept there and I can see a lot of things that are good. However, for me personally, I, I probably wouldn't recommend it in its current form just because I felt like that, that satisfaction was kind of missing and I began to become more irritated than, I, than satisfied, hell. if that made sense. Um, it just became a, a quickly became a journey of trying to find that last piece of dirt in a sea of anywhere, pressing the tab button to try find it so I could press the percentage and get the money. A huge background scenario gave $500 and a van that took 10 minutes gave $200. I like the game. I like the concept of the game. The audio is good. The theory behind the game is good. It's a simple but well executed game. I just think it's a bit too simple. It feels like after you've played it for one or two scenarios, you've seen everything the game has to offer. And as a result of that, I can't fully recommend it. I'm not going to say don't buy it because I don't think it's a bad game. But I couldn't give my stamp of approval and say, this is so good that you need to buy it. Like, say, a Valheim for 15 quid, you know. So that was Power Wash Simulator. Personally, I'm really glad um, I was given the chance by Future to give this a go and give this a review. Um, and I'd like to see more from you. And I'd like to, again, maybe do more reviews of future games and updates. That was my current thoughts on Power Wash. Hopefully that helps you organize yeah, your thoughts in your mind if you're going to buy it or not. Thank you to everyone that's been subscribing on twitch.tv forward slash ggz. Um, we currently have 50 subscribers, um, so thanks to everyone, and thanks to the 17 members that joined Stop. me on YouTube to subscribe. That's the most members I've ever had, and I thank every single one, because you people are the only ones that keep this going, basically. So, likes, comments, shares they all help massively spread my channel and i hope you've been enjoying my channel i've been trying to do things a lot differently That's in the past one, five man. months and i hope that's shown um but this was power wash simulator a decent little game not a game i'm gonna rave about but not a game i'm gonna destroy and say is awful it's got its niche it's a bit of fun maybe it's the game for you give it a whirl let me know what you think let me know what you think about my review and stuff all right take it easy folks peace